Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back today with another video. Welcome back. Um, this is a little bit different for me. Uh, I've done a haul from Jackson's before. Um, gosh, it was two or three years ago. Um, but I did put an order in. Jackson's are a marvelous um, art supply uh, company in the UK. And they do ship to Canada. And I do find that their prices are fantastic. And I find their shipping prices are fantastic um, uh, compared to when I try and purchase from the U.S. Uh, it's very expensive coming to Canada. So I often will go to Jackson's. Um, but I thought, and I don't normally show you what I've purchased, but I thought you'd be interested in this one because this is all uh, drawing or sketching supplies that I've picked up. And I thought that um, I might, uh, from time to time, uh, not, you know, scheduling myself because you know what it's all good you do things when you feel when you feel like it. you don't want to I don't want to schedule myself in my retirement so um, I thought from time to time I'd just come on and, and just show you how I sketch in some of my journals that sort of thing it's if it's of interest um, if it's of interest let me know if not that's absolutely fine um, I am an affiliate with Jackson's uh, so when you purchase if you see I'll put a link to all these supplies in case it's something you're interested in um, as well as links to some of the watercolors that I use from Jackson's if you're of interest it's of interest I'm going to move these out and then so I get rid of the box then um, you can purchase on that link and it gives me a small percentage it's actually something I just use for future um, purchases um, that's how I I go about it so I'm just pulling all of the items out and hopefully we're good to go. And I'm just going to double check and see if there's nothing missing. Um, there was a split in the box so um, I'll be, oh I can see where that came from. Um, but from what I can see, like right over here in the corner, from what I can see nothing is missing. They always pack beautifully and they pack um, uh, with items that are um, they pack beautifully <laughs> to put it that way and they also uh, everything they pack with is biodegradable so these are the things that I purchased uh, so let me just come in a little bit closer so you can see Okay, so these are what are called stumps, and stumps I use when I'm using graphite. Um, you can use them to just kind of smudge the graphite around, uh, and it blends them really, really well. Uh, and I find when I'm doing portraits, it really makes the skin look more like skin. So those are stumps. And these are stumps with, um, and then the smaller ones are tortillan, tortillions. Uh, and tortillons are just like stumps, they're usually finer and they are um, more like wrapped paper rather than pressed paper. There's not a big difference, uh, to be honest with you, and I find they, they work just as well. So I bought some more of those because I go through them not super quickly, but it's good to have a stash. Um, I also purchased, these are great, for um, these are the uh, Tombow Mono Zero. Uh, eraser and this is also one just a different color uh, I tend to make kits up like I'll have a, like a drawing a little uh, canvas bag if you will for drawing with charcoal and I'll have one for drawing with graphite that sort of thing and these have a little thin very thin eraser in them and it's almost like using a um, you know like a mechanical pencil but it's the eraser and then I purchased whoops out. I purchased a um, two of these that have the the uh, additional erasers in case you you run out and I will of course I will run out so I did have the top of that oh there it is that I found in the box so there we go good to go I also purchased the uni uh, uniball fine line drawing pens these are nice sets, and you can get sets with largers, large, 
uh, more pins in them, but they have 0 0.005, 0 0.08, 0 0.05, 0 0.03, and 0 0.01 in terms of width, and it's really good for drawing. Um, I particularly like using these um, before and or after I do watercoloring, and uh, and I'll show you that in a future video. Um, because they're waterproof, they really don't move very much, and there aren't very many uh, drawing pens that um, are waterproof. The Pigma Microns also work really well for that purpose. I'm trying to see if I have a Pigma Micron handy. I think I might. Yeah, you've probably seen those. Oh, that's a Copic Multiliner. Never mind. Um, yeah, I probably have. I know I have a bunch of them, but I really like the Uniball. They're terrific. Um, the other thing I picked up, I'm a huge fan of Stillman and Byrne uh, sketchbooks. Huge fan. I cannot tell you enough how much I like them. Uh, and I like to purchase... Whoops, I have a couple more things here. I like to purchase uh, the... Um, from Jackson's because I find it's the best price I can get. So I bought two. One is, and I like to purchase heavyweight. Um, so that's the 270 grams, GSMs, not grams. And this is a smooth surface, white smooth. So really lovely for color pencil drawings, for graphite, uh, that sort of thing, and ink drawings really beautiful. This is a new size for me and I love it. It's seven inches by seven inches uh, and when you have the heavier weight it's also it says dry and wet media, watercolor and ink. It's terrific. You can use it for all. Now I find when you use a smooth surface watercolor will tend to move a little bit more than you might want it to so you have to be a little more judicious with how much water you use. Um, but it also can, the paper can pill a tiny bit if you overwork it. So um, I think it's it's better for dry and light wet media, like just a bit of watercolor, and ink works beautifully on it. So isn't that gorgeous? And then this one is the same, a premium sketch. This is Delta, this is Zeta, and this is also mixed media for dry and wet media, watercolor and ink. Also 270 GSMs. Uh, and it is cold press surface, and it's ivory. So this was white. This is oh, I might as well show you. You've got time, right? You've got time. I might as well show you. It's really terrific paper. Um, and this is great. I use this definitely for watercolor because the paper has a um, tooth to it. Doesn't that sound fancy? Don't I sound fancy? Um, yeah, it has a, a, you can, I hope you can see, it's got a, a bit of a texture to it, and it's wonderful for wet media, for um, watercolor. So I love this, love this size. This is going to be fun to play with. So those are my two new sketchbooks. Um, I think this is... Aha! Uh -huh. I've never had this before, and I'm really excited to get it. This is the pencil blend, uh, Zest It. So Zest It, sometimes when you put pencil down, and I will show you, it, like I said in a future video, I'll show how I use each of these. Um, if you put colored pencil down, you can move colored pencil. Uh, you know, I know you can move watercolor pencil, absolutely. I do that all the time. If you're going to hear the train go by. Um, but you can move colored pencil with something like zest it and it just is it's terrific because it's non-flammable non-toxic citrus free solvent so not um and it's blending for colored pencils so i'm looking forward to using this i have used um a uh, odorless mineral spirits also works really well for this but i did want to try zest it because i hear so much about it it's a cute little bottle i only bought a small amount because i wasn't sure Am I going to like it? So we did that. And then I also got this Zest It blending sponge. Um, and this is to moisten your tortillions, stumps, and shapers. So if I want to, it's got a, a dampness to it already. 
Um, so you can just take this, rub it in, and then take this as your tool on your on your um, color pencil uh, because it's already got a bit of, of the zested in it. So also my first time using that, so I'm anxious to see how that's going to look. Normally when I use like a liquid, when I'm moving colored pencil, I use uh, a paintbrush. I don't remember what this is, so this is going to be fun. <laughs> Now, when I say that, I ordered this, all of this, oops, I think it was on the 20th or so of October, and it's already here. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, I do have some of these already. These are awesome. And right now, they're having their Faber-Castell sale. So I'll try and link some of the things that I use that are Faber-Castell as well, in case it's something you're interested in, because uh, I buy almost all of my supplies from uh, Jackson's. So these are graphite matte pencils. So how is that different from a regular pencil, you ask? Well, it is, um, it's normally when you have graphite pencil and if you're, you're putting a lot of, of pencil down, uh, it will, over time, after, you know, once you've got it quite dark, if that's something you're looking to do, if you're putting line over line over line, it will be shiny when you move it in under light because there's just a natural buildup of the graphite. But these matte pencils, which are remarkable, actually it very little glare. So what you get is a bit of a glare to your pencil drawing if you've done a number of um, pencil strokes over each other. With the matte, you get much, much less. So again, that's something I'll show you in future. Video. There's HB all the way to, what's this, a 14B, so that's really dark. And that comes with a stump, an eraser, and a little pencil sharpener. So I have a, a smaller set of six, and I wanted to try this larger set, and I think they have a bigger set. I'm pretty sure that I put it on my Christmas list um, to uh, my hubby. <laughs> So, super excited to use those as well. And the last thing I have here, and I've never used these before, and I'm super happy to be trying them. Um, there's lots of videos on YouTube about the Blackwing 601 pencils. Uh, never used one, but they're supposed to be absolutely remarkable. This comes with 12 of the same pencil. Uh, this is kind of, uh, this particular pencil is one that's recommended for um, if you do a lot of sketching. Well, and they're all used, um, recommended, but these are expensive. It's half the pressure, twice the speed, it says on it. Um, the eraser can be changed out. Uh, and like I said, there's 12 in here. When I say expensive, I think this was $30 for 12 pencils, which is not, not outlandish, but it's not your everyday pencil that you pick up at the dollar store. And I'm anxious to see if it makes a difference. They're supposed to be just a pleasure. I have arthritis in my hands uh, and my wrists, and my thought is, or I've heard that they're supposed to be, like they say, half the pressure, twice the speed, that maybe that will uh, make that discomfort less for me. So I have my eye on the other one. I think it's called the Palomono. It's also, I'm not pronouncing it correctly, also Blackwing, and um, and it's a handsome box. I mean, that's going to look really nice on my uh, on my shelf, my drawing supply shelf. So that is everything I got. Um, these, this is like a little drawing kit of really fun stuff. A couple of things have are replenishing things I had, like these uni pins and the stumps uh, and the tortillas. I do have um, one of these, but it's nice to have three because you know what it's like when you have one and you know you have a few different places it might be and you look at all those places and it's not there. That happens to me all the time. Um, so this way I will have a few as options. So make it a little easier to find things. So that's it guys. That is my um, little Jackson's haul. Uh, I don't know if you like haul videos or if you're interested in art supply hauls. Um, I do have 
something else arriving in the next couple of weeks, I expect. It hasn't been shipped yet. Um, and if you're interested, I'll show you that too. But uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope if this is something that interests you or that or if these are supplies that interest you, I think you will find uh, that you will get really terrific prices there. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have a super day. Take care, everyone. Bye.